Good day brothers and sisters praise the lord today we reflect on the words from the gospel of mark chapter 12 verse 32 where the scribe tells jesus well spoken master you are right when you said there is one god and there is no god besides him the context of this ongoing questioning of jesus starts from mark chapter 12 verse 13 where the pharisees question jesus about paying taxes to caesar thereafter the sadducees question jesus about the resurrection and this scribe now question jesus which is the greatest commandment of all and jesus replied first is hear o israel the lord our god is one god and there is no god besides him and you shall love your god with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength and the second is you shall love your neighbor as yourself the central idea of jesus answer is to love the one and only living god and to love others you see jesus left no doubt at all about what position our lord and god must have in our lives first of all he must be the lord and god of our life he must be the most important person in our lives and a personal savior during the time of jesus very few leaders accepted the teachings of jesus but here is a scribe who loved the answer jesus provided because the scribe was rooted in the old testament he replied to jesus you are right master and repeats the entire answer which jesus gave then he adds on to say this it is more important than burnt offering and sacrifice why did the scribe tell jesus you are right the scribe understood that the love of one god comes from the shema prayer which is recited by every pious jew twice a day quoted from the book of deuteronomy chapter 6 was 4 to 5 and the love of neighbor quoted from the book of leviticus 1918 it shows a clear understanding the scribe had about the word of god by telling jesus you are right the scribe acknowledges that there is one god and there is no god besides him he affirms the oneness of god and god's sovereignty over all mankind that god is love and he wants us to love others he understands that the love of god is expressed in the love of human beings that god is the foundation of love loving god with our heart soul mind and strength is a call to all of us to love god with our entire being and to love our neighbors with our entire being in this we see what god really wants from man is to love god and to love man in genesis 18 abraham intercedes for sodom in genesis 22 when abraham goes to sacrifice isaac not even once in his three days journey intercedes for his son isaac yet god provides a ram as a substitute When Jesus took the cross no one interceded for him nor there was a substitute God loved us so much that he did not spare his only son thereafter the scribe adds on to say to love him with all heart soul mind and strength and to love one neighbor as oneself is more important than all the whole burnt offerings and sacrifice the scribe's response to jesus was right on the mark 
it is easy to think that religious ceremony devotions are more important than the love of for god and our neighbor but this is not the case a thousand empty burnt offerings do not mean more to god than a single act of love done in the name of god we are called to love because god loved us first jesus told the scribe you are near to the kingdom of god because jesus realized that the scribe had understood the essence of the great commandment of love of god and love of neighbor there is a difference in being near to the kingdom of god and being in the kingdom of god to be in the kingdom of god knowing the law is not enough we really need to put in practice to love the one and the living god and to love our neighbor and to love ourselves the way god loves us and truly believe there is one god and there is no other god besides him 1 john chapter 4 verse 20 and 21 says if anyone says i love god while he hates his brother he is a liar how can he love god whom he cannot see if he does not love his brother whom he can see we have received this commandment whoever loves god must love his brother today's readings call us to be surrounded by god's love so as to love others through his life and death on the cross jesus showed us the depth of his twofold love his love for his father impelled him to fulfill the mission for which he was sent his love for human kind made him to empty himself totally on the cross you are not far from the kingdom is an invitation to all to love and to inherit the kingdom of god's love for us a liberating experience let us pray father god we praise you and thank you for this beautiful day thank you for message of love father we want to thank you for this great commandment father we pray to you help us to believe and trust in you that you are the only god and there is no god besides you help us to love you with all our heart soul mind and strength help us to love our neighbors with the entire being father god we thank you for the gift of the kingdom father god help us to be in the kingdom of love which are given to us we ask this in jesus name amen amen amen